Hi, it's Johnson from johnsonyup.com. So I'm going to talk about how to install TrueCrypt, which you could get online at truecrypt.org slash downloads for Linux. So I'm going to install it on Ubuntu and you pick your version. I pick standard 32-bit. Yeah. So I download it, so I'm going to show you how. I'm going to so I download it to my desktop and you double click it, then you click extract. Yeah, I pick my desktop to install it. So now you double click on TrueCrypt slash 6.3a setup. And then you pick run in terminal. So now it there's a message, read it over and um, now you could click install TrueCrypt. So you read this over and agree to it. To play. And then you click OK. Then it should install. Then you should type in your password. Okay, now it's finished installing. And read this over and click enter. So true crap will be under applications, accessories, then true crap. So it's currently empty. Then I'm gonna make a volume. So you pick the type you want to make. You could pick a file container, which is a file, which is encrypted, or a volume, which is a partition or drive. So click next, and then I'm gonna pick standard or hidden. So I'm gonna pick standard. So you could select a location. I'm gonna select desktop and save. Oh, you have to name it. So click next. And you could pick the encryption type. You could leave it as is. Yeah. And I'm going to make it 10 megabytes in size. And you could display the password. It's uh, going to be yeah. And then it warns you if it's a short password, so you go yes. So you could pick the file type. I'm gonna pick that. Yeah. Or you could pick ex3 if you're gonna store files which are very large, yeah, or none. So you move the mouse around, yeah, and you click format. So it's successful. Now you can click exit. To mount it, you drag the TrueCrypt file to TrueCrypt. You pick a drive and then you click mount. So you type in the password, which is, and then wait, your path, and then you click your administrator password. So yeah, now you could put files in here.
and then you could close it and to dismount it you just click dismount and then it couldn't be opened without a password and thanks for watching and rate comment subscribe and visit my website at johnsonyep.com and good night